a big, this is a really big fish. Oh, don't come on, this is a, this is a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. Ah, uh, uh, don't come off. Woo! That right there is what we're talking about. Hey, like that Steve and Mebbin. Monster, come over here, Jeff. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. oh big fish. Woo! Big fish. Big fish on a Whopper Plopper. Fish on! Fish on, guys. Guys, like I said, that's a big old spotted bass. Guys, like I said, that's a big old spotted bass. That's the biggest spotted bass I've ever caught. He's good. He's probably four pounds. Big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Woo! Look at that sucker. Alright guys, now he's probably seven, I said eight, he's probably a good seven, that's a good bass right there, large mouth, beast of a fish, on the swim bait, I don't forgot the name of the swim bait, that swim bait right there, that's what I caught him on, nice fish. That's a heavy fish. He's heavy. He may be eight. I think he's eight. I think it's seven, but he, he's at least eight. What's up everyone? Good morning. Welcome to Max Extreme River Fishing Outdoors. You know, I love river fishing. That's my favorite thing to do is creek fishing and river fishing. Today I'm going to show you what goes into my tackle box, what I throw, what I throw it with, fishing for bass. Um, I'm not going to go, I always, bugs getting out here. I'm not going to go and um, I always carry, you know, lures, rods for brim and crappy because if the bass aren't biting or you just want to switch it up. But today we're just going to talk about the bass stuff. Um, well, let's get busy and I'm gonna show you my favorite baits. Now I use a lot more lures, but these are my favorite ones and the ones I take, you know, I take them all the time, but I throw them probably 80% of the time. So let's get busy and let me show you what I use. My number one, this is, and I'm gonna start off with the number one instead of working to the top and going back. My number one favorite lure for river bassing is a 3 8 ounce spinner bait. My favorite spinner bait is the Booyah. 
I like them with the double willow leaves. Also, I like the tucks and tails that has Colorado blades. Um, I've got videos where I catch, you know, seven pound river bass on both of these. Um, but anyway, I'll throw this in Eastern North Carolina where you got more black water. I throw this in Central North Carolina where you got more clear water. Um, you know, rocks, riffles, rapids and stuff. But this works good too if the water's a little muddier. It's got a little more, the Colorado blaze for a little bit more of a thump. Um, but that right there is my number one spinner bait. I always throw it with a trailer hook. Let me see. This is the tucks and tails with the trailer hook. I put a piece of red plastic tube and that's, I think that's a five alt hook might be a four alt hook i'll put that in the description but i always cut the tail off the tucks and tails but anyway that's my number one lures right there for river fishing now what i do if i get a strike with one of those and i miss it if i get a strike with one of those and i miss it what i automatically do is have a rod rigged up with a fluke with a five volt ewg hook on it and i throw back in and catch them now sometimes i'll use this fluke all day long if they're not hitting the spinnerbait good um because you can skip this under trees skip it under bushes skip it across logs it's pretty much weedless um so sometimes i'll use this all day if the contingents want it but this is always ready as a backup to a spinnerbait or buzz bait um sometimes it's a backup to those missed strikes Depending on the water level, the clarity, I'll throw a wacky rig Cinco. It's a throwback lure. Uh, the hook I use on that is a two alt right there, Gamagatsu. Hope you can see that. Hope that focus. Uh, but most of the time, I'm throwing a fluke back. Um, sometimes it'll be the uh, Cinco. But don't get crazy on colors on this river fishing use white or black on spinner baits use a pearl fluke maybe if you got smallies in the water use a chartreuse fluke um just don't get crazy on colors i will also throw a chartreuse spinner bait you know if the um if i got smallies in there but just keep it simple white black chartreuse on those on these spinner baits i usually throw these on 50 pound braid I just like to be able to get in big, they catch big fish. I like to be able to get the fish in quick. And 50 pound braid is like 12 pound um, diameter mono. So I can get them in quick. I'll show you those later. But these spinner baits, I throw them out. And a lot of times I crank them just below the surface where they're creating a the weight. And I, I, I usually run these pretty fast. I don't usually run these pretty slow, but I throw these at a pretty fast pace. You know, sometimes I'll pause and let them drop um, and let them flutter down. Um, but I, I usually fish these pretty fast. Um, like I said, 50 pound braid, and I'll show those later. Um, but awesome lures. You know, I will run them deeper than the surface, um, but still I'm fishing them pretty fast. Um, cast these around logs, rocks, anything behind rocks, anywhere you think fish are going fast water. They're working slow and fast water. Um, that's probably my number one favorite lure is a spinner bait in a river. The other lure I like to throw a lot on these rivers in North Carolina and the southeast is the good old buzz bait. I always throw that with a trailer hook too and don't get crazy on colors. Use white, black, or chartreuse. Sometimes they'll kill a black um, buzz bait. Lunker lure, I use Booyahs a lot. I use another brand a lot. I forget that brand. Um, but Lunker lure is my favorite one. I always use a trailer hook. Um, I never fish a buzz bait or, tra or spinner bait without a trailer hook. I'm just telling you, you know how many fish I've caught on that trailer hook and not on the main hook. And, you know, it's no telling how many fish I would miss if I didn't have that trailer hook on there. But I love these. Awesome. Like I said, don't get crazy on the colors. White, black, and chartreuse. Just like spinner baits. My next favorite lure I like to throw is the Whopper Plopper. Now I use a big one. I think this is 120 size. I don't use the small ones much because they tend to roll over. Um, I just don't like the small ones that much. Little bass will hit these too. Um, but Whopper Plopper El Chapo is good. I'll tell you, that's a wonderful bait. I haven't used this as long as people have been using it. It took me a while to get into the 
whopper popper craze you know what i'm saying but they work really good i think i called a six pound bass in the run up river to this um there's a video on that from a year or two ago check that out maybe i'll put a link right there to it um jeff caught one about the same time i can't remember what he was throwing though but anyway good old whopper popper or el chapo just throw it out retrieve it pause it every now and then just awesome okay guys i about forgot about this one and i can't believe i almost forgot about this one because this lure produced for me this year my biggest bass at eight pounds give or take i usually can estimate the weight within four ounces but a, a plus or minus a little bit of eight pound bass and a four pound spot um i don't know if that video is going to be out before or after this too but anyway I've only been using this lure, it's a swim bait, for about two years. I can't remember where I got it, but I hope that focus. It's a mag draft by Mega Bass. Six inch. I keep it in a container. And that's it right there. It's got one treble hook. See that with a swivel that tucks into a slit right there and it stays in there i mean i can sling this thing and it stays in there until a bass hits it but i'm gonna tell you something i've been using this like i said two years and it's become one of my favorites for bass river bass bass anywhere generally but anyway awesome awesome lure um that's a six inch one i think i'm getting ready to order the it's an 8 or 10 inch one, but it's the bigger size. Um, but anyway, check this one out. Um, awesome, awesome lure. Another one of my favorite lures I like to use is a jerk bait. And my favorite one is the Rattling Rogue. It's got rattles in it, of course. They make suspending models and they make floater models that dive. I like the one that doesn't suspend, but I do use both of them. You can twitch this on top, especially the floater, and you know, it will pop back up. Twitch it, pop back up. Then I reel it, three, rank, three cranks, pause, three cranks, pause. Or you can just reel the snot out of it sometimes and they'll hit it. But awesome lure. Um, don't get crazy on colors with these either. I like a little gold in it for Eastern North Carolina and I like chrome and blue uh, for Central and Western North Carolina. But that's an awesome lure right there. I usually throw this with about 12 pound mono on a spinning reel, um, but awesome lure. Here's another one I like to use is, is the good old Pop R. Um, awesome lure. I probably use bone more than chartreuse, but don't get crazy on colors on this one either. About the only two colors I use is um, bone and chartreuse. Awesome, it casts good. It catches a lot of fish. Um, use that a lot, try that out. Just a regular size Pop R. I do use, I can get it out of here. The Magnum Pop R some, but uh, 99 times or 90% of the time I'm using the regular size. Whew. I about left this one out. This is one of my favorite river lures. It's a Seville swim bait. That right there is an awesome lure. Now I'll put a link to a lot of these in the description if I can find good links to them at decent prices. I don't want you to buy and get ripped off or nothing. But anyway, love the Spill Swim Bait. I use that color a lot. I use a bone one as well. Shad color in it. Um, but that's an awesome lure. That'll catch a lot of bass in the rivers right there. Okay, guys. I haven't showed you everything I like to throw, but I've showed you most of them. These will get you started in about any southeastern river or any North American river for that matter. If it's largemouth bass or smallies in it. Um, but let me show you my favorite rod to throw the spinner baits and buzz baits on is this Shimano Cellos. It's a medium action rod. I've got a loose speed spool. I think it's a SS1HS. I think it's on that side, maybe it'll focus. Don't know if it focused, but I got a whopper plopper on this. I throw the whopper plopper with 50 pound braid too. Um, to spinner baits, buzz baits. Whopper Palmers, I throw a 50 pound braid. Um, no leader. You're, I'm working these pretty fast, so I'm not worried about fish being line shy. Um, 
But that's my favorite outfit right there for river bass. That will get them in, that'll get the job done right there. Now, me talking about the throwback lures like the Cinco and the, um, like the Cinco and the Pearl Fluke. And like I said, the Pearl Fluke's my favorite, but I do use the Cinco a lot. I usually throw on a good medium sized spinning reel. This is a loose combo right here. I have 30 pound braid on this and I usually put like a 15 pound liter fluorocarbon leader um, to throw that fluke, uh, throw that uh, Cinco and just work it back slow where you miss the fish or sometimes you know I'll work them um, as my primary lure. But 30 pound braid, um, 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, that's my outfit on that. Now the outfit, this has got a striper lure on it though, still on it, but my outfit, I like to throw, um, I'll throw spinner baits on this too and buzz baits. Um, I'll throw the rattling rogues on it. I'll throw the Sibyl swim baits on it. Um, I'll throw the man's baby minus one or crankbait, any good medium sized crankbait. It's this um, Shimano Calcutta 200 on a good medium heavy rod. I usually use 12 pound line. It casts good, and let me tell you something, 12 pound line, as long as there's, you're not getting into logs or something, or getting in any bass, um, that's when my main outfit's right there I throw, minus that lure right there, um, for bass. It's 12 pound mono, Calcutta 200, seven foot medium action rod. Those other rods were seven foot as well. Anyway, I'm gonna show you my tackle box. I might have missed a few lures, so let's uh, look, take a look at that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you my hard bait box. I may have missed some. Some of these are I've already showed you. I didn't show you this. It's a chug bug, black. I like bone, silver, and black in this. Black is probably one of my favorites. That's just a big bass catcher. There's a whopper plopper. I showed you that. Rattling rogue showed you that. Sabil Magic Swimmer, Chug Bug, that's a bone, Rattling Rogue, there's another bone, Sabil Swimmer. This I didn't show you. This is a Magnum, this is a Magnum Torpedo. Awesome, awesome lure. I've got a lot of big fishing rivers on this. This thing casts like a bullet. Awesome river lure. There's a gold one right there as well. Tell you, underweight, an underrated lure, awesome lure. It's this Chug, it's this, um, Jitterbug, getting ready to say chug bug again, but jitterbug, awesome river lure. This right here is a Bagley small fry. I throw that sometimes just for kicks because on a spinning reel of eight to 10 pound test, a lot of bass will tear that up too sometimes. Pop bar, I'll show you that. Rattle traps, love rattle traps, cotton cordell spots in rivers in early spring. Buzz baits, I've showed you them. Spinner baits. There's a cotton cordell spot. Here's a cotton cordell big O. A man's baby minus one. That's good in really shallow rocky areas. It only runs a foot deep. There's a scout. I like that. There's a magnum pop bar again. So that's basically my hard baits. In any of these baits, you know, if I miss a fish, I'll throw a fluke or Cinco in to, um, get that second strike hopefully okay everyone hope you enjoyed that video a lot of good information on catching river bass um, I'm not the best out there at doing that but I've been doing it a long time I've been river bass fishing since 1977 I've been canoeing fishing for river bass since 1977 kind of aging myself there but anyway I'm gonna tell you the biggest, I hope you find a lot of good information there on those lures, but I'm gonna tell you the biggest mistake I've seen guys over the years, and I made this years, I made this mistake years ago too, um, even on the river I grew up on. The biggest mistake guys make is they go to, they're used to lake fishing for bass, fishing big lakes, fishing ponds for bass, big ponds, small lakes. They get to a river, they downsize their lures. Let me tell you something. And sometimes you need to downsize your lure. Sometimes the fish are finicky. Sometimes you just want to have fun using ultralight and downsizing lures, and that's fine too. And there are times when they won't hit big lures, and then you need to downsize. I'm not talking about just never use it. 
But here's my rule of thumb. If I go up to a creek or river and I can't cast across it, that means it's a good sized river. Um, I won't downsize my lures. If I can't cast across it, I'm gonna start off with my big stuff. Then, if I'm not getting hits, then I'll downsize. If I go up to a creek or river and I can cast and I land on the bank on the other side, I'm probably gonna downsize my base to begin with because that's definitely not a big river. But if you can't cast across it, I'm talking about even if you land 10 foot from the other bank, I would stay with the big lures first, then downsize it. Um, Cause you can always downsize it um, if you don't get any hits. But anyway, that's my rule of thumb. If I can cast across it, I downsize my lures. If I can't cast across it, I go to regular bigger lures. I catch bigger fish that way. Catch, I mean, I catch small fish too on these big lures. So anyway, don't make that mistake. I always downsize in your lures. But anyway, I hope you learned something important. Um, hope you learn some new lures. You know, I'm learning new stuff every day, like that mega, that uh, mag draft by Mega Bass. I've only been using that two years. I can't remember where I saw it. And I said, well, that looks good, you know? And I tried it, and I'm gonna tell you something, I'm glad I tried it, because that may become one day my really go-to bait. Um, I'm using it a lot now, but anyway, like I said, I hope you learned something. Do me a favor, guys, hit the subscribe button. It's gonna be right there. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.